Hi everyone. Today we will continue solving exact differential equations. In part 1, we studied differential equations which were exact. That is, equations which satisfied del m by del y is equal to del n by del x. So the question is, what if a given differential equation is not exact? Can we solve it or not? So in part 2, you will see many a times the differential equation which is not exact on multiplying the equation by a factor mu, it becomes exact. This factor mu is called an integrating factor. So in part 2, we will first define what is an integrating factor and then we will solve some questions. Let us say we are given a differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. What do we do? The first thing what we do is we find whether the differential equation is exact or not. For that you find the partial derivatives del m by del y and del n by del x. If they are equal, equation is exact and we will solve the differential equation using the method which we used in part 1. But what if the partial derivatives del m by del y and del n by del x are not equal? We have already found them. So next what we do is we find the difference and we will divide that difference by n minus m or ny minus mx. So we have three different cases. Let's start with the first case. If my difference del m by del y minus del n by del x when divided by n gives me only terms of x or in other words you get a function of x. Here we denote it by gx. Then the factor mu x is found using the formula e to the power integral gx dx. It is called the integrating factor because to find this mu of x we use integration. Now once mu x has been found we multiply the differential equation which was not exact by mu x all over and that multiplication makes it exact. Once it is exact, we will proceed to finding the solution. Let us say the difference when divided by n does not give me a function of x. Then we will try dividing the difference by minus m. If it gives me only terms of y or it gives me a function of y, then my integrating factor mu y is found using the formula e to the power integral h y dy. You will do the same thing. You will multiply the whole differential equation by mu y. After that, my differential equation becomes exact and we will solve it. What if second case also doesn't hold? Then we will divide the difference by ny minus mx. And if we get the function in z where z is nothing but xy, then my integrating factor mu z is found using e to the power integral gz dz. You will multiply the differential equation by mu of z, which will make it exact, and then we will find the solution. You have to note, there can be many integrating factors for one given differential equation. For example, if I take the differential equation y dx minus x dy, it has so many integrating factors, 1 by x square, 1 by y square, 1 upon x square plus y square, and 1 by x square. All of them act as integrating factors for the differential equation y dx minus x dy. We will now solve some 
questions, some problems where we will use all these three cases. In the first example, we are given a differential equation 3x square minus y square dy minus 2xy dx is equal to 0. You can see m is nothing but minus 2xy and our n is 3x square minus y square. What do you do? First thing you will do is find the partial derivatives del m by del y and del n by del x. You see that del m by del y is minus 2x and del n by del x is 6x. They are not equal, which means my differential equation is not exact. What we do now is we will find their difference. This is already there with us, both the partial derivatives. So find the difference, you get the difference as minus 8x. We can try the case that my difference is divided by minus m. Why? Because minus m is nothing but 2xy and our difference del m by del y minus del n by del x was minus 8x. So when we do that, we get a function in y. We get minus 4 by y. This was a single term. So there was a possibility of getting a function of x or y. Now the integrating factor is mu y is equal to e to the power integral h y dy. We have used the second case. This gives us 1 upon y to the power 4. So mu of y is 1 upon y to the power 4. Multiply the whole differential equation by this integrating factor. You can see the differential equation becomes 3x square minus y square upon y to the power 4 dy minus 2x dx upon y cube is equal to 0. The new m is minus 2x by y cube and new n is 3x square minus y square upon y to the power 4. Now if you find the partial derivatives del m by del y and del n by del x, both of them come out to be 6x upon y to the power 4. Which means that the differential equation is now exact after multiplying by the integrating factor. So we will now start solving the differential equation, the new differential equation to find the solution. Start with the Assumption del f by del x is equal to m. m is this new m. Equate it. Integrate to find f. We get f as minus x square by y cube plus phi of y. Now we are integrating with respect to x. So we take as a precaution a function of y because we are not sure whether there are some y terms in my f. In part 1, we had taken this function of y as gy. But as we have already used g for notation in two cases, gx and gz, to avoid confusion, I have taken here phi of y. We'll use the second condition, del f by del y is equal to n. So differentiate f from 2 with respect to y and equate it to n, the new n. You will see 3x square by y to the power 4 cancels on both the sides and we get phi dash y is minus 1 by y square. We need to find phi of y because once we find phi y and we substitute in 2, we will get the solution f. On integration, this gives us 5y is 1 by y. Substitute in 2, solution is f of x, y is minus x square upon y cube plus 1 by y is equal to c. In the second example, the differential equation is x plus 2 sine y dx plus x cos y dy is equal to 0. m is x plus 2 sine y, n is x cos y, now find the partial derivative del m by del y comes out to be x plus 2 cos y. 
del n by del x is cos y. Obviously, they are not equal, which means equation is, the differential equation is not exact. Let's find the difference. So here, the difference comes out to be x cos y plus cos y. Divide the difference by n here. Now, on dividing, we get a function in x. So, we find the integrating factor mu of x, which is e to the power integral gx dx. Put gx is 1 plus 1 by x. This gives us the integrating factor as x, e to the power x. Multiply the differential equation 3 on both the sides by x e to the power x. This gives me the new m as x e to the power x, x plus 2 sin y, and the new n as x square e to the power x cos y. You can see now del m by del y and del n by del x both come out to be x e to the power x, x plus 2 cos y. Equation has become exact. Let's solve for the solution. So del f by del x is equal to m is equal to x e to the power x, x plus 2 sin y. We need to find f. So let's integrate both the sides with respect to x. We have f is equal to pull the sin y outside as we are integrating with respect to x. Integral x square e to the power x plus 2x e to the power x dx plus 5y. Now this can be written as dx square e to the power x. Differentiate this, you will get the same thing here. Why we write it as this? Because now I have integral differential of this. So this will be gone and I directly get the answer. So we have f is equal to sine y integral dx square e to the power x plus 5y. Now this gives me x square e to the power x sine y plus 5y. Use the second condition del f by del y is equal to n. Differentiate 4 with respect to y. Equate it to n. You will see the term x square e to the power x cos y cancels on both the sides. We get phi dash y is equal to 0. On integration we get phi y is equal to c. The solution becomes f of x y is equal to x square e to the power x sin y is equal to c. In the third example, the differential equation is x plus 3y square dx plus 2xy dy is equal to 0. m is x plus 3y square, n is 2xy. Find the partial derivative del m by del y is 6y, del n by del x is 2y. They are not equal. Equation is not exact. So we check now whether difference of del m by del y and del n by del x on dividing by m or n gives me a function of x or y and then we will move forward. So here when the difference is divided by n, I took n because this was again a single term. So Difference was 4y, 6y minus 2y, divided by 2xy, we get 2 by x, a function of x. Call it gx. Integrating factor is mu of x, which is e to the power integral gx dx. This, on substituting gx, gives us x square as my mu of x. Multiply the differential equation 5 by x square, the new m becomes x cubed plus 3x square y square, n is 2x cube y. Del m by del y and del n by del x are now 6x square y. They both are equal, so my differential equation is exact. We'll now move to solving it. So del f by del x is equal to m. m was x cubed plus 3x square y square. On integrating, we get f as x to the power 4 upon 4 plus x cubed y square plus 5 y. Let's call it 6. So we have integrated with respect to x. Now differentiate f with respect to y equated to n. We are using the second condition. This gives us phi dash y is 0 or phi y is c. 
substitute 5i in 6, the solution becomes x to the power 4 upon 4 plus x cube y square is equal to c. In example 4, we are given the differential equation y dx plus 2x minus y e to the power y dy is equal to 0. m is y, n is 2x minus y e to the power y, del m by del y is 1 and del n by del x is 2. They are not equal, differential equation is not exact. Let's try the three cases. So here, when I divide the difference by m, minus m, as m was a single term, I used and tried that first. This gives me my function of y and that is 1 by y. Integrating factor becomes mu y is equal to e to the power h y dy, which comes out to be y. Multiply the differential equation all over by y. This will give me the new m as y square, new n as 2xy minus y square e to the power y. The partial derivatives del m by del y and del n by del x are both 2y. Differential equation has become exact. So, begin with del f by del x is equal to m to find the solution. The new m was y square. Integrate this to get f. It comes out to be y square x plus 5y. Differentiate f now from 8 with respect to y. Equate it to n. This will give us phi dash y is minus y square e to the power y. Integrate, you will get phi y is y e to the power y minus e to the power y. Substitute it in your equation 8. Solution is f of x, y is y square x plus y e to the power y minus e to the power y is equal to c. In example 5, differential equation is y log y minus 2xy dx plus x plus y dy is equal to 0. m is y log y minus 2xy and n xy is x plus y. Del m by del y is log y plus 1 minus 2x. Del n by del x is 1. As they both are not equal, it's not an exact differential equation. Let's move on to finding the integrating factor. Let's take the difference. Difference is log y plus 1 minus 2x minus 1. Now I have two choices. See, this is also not a single term. This is also not a single term. Previously, it worked. One of them was m or n was a single term. But here they are not. If you see, the numerator is log y minus 2x. And if I look at my m, if I pull out the y, I get log y minus 2x. So it is advantageous to divide by minus m. When we divide the difference del m by del y minus del n by del x by minus m, I get a function in y, which is 1 minus 1 by y. Integrating factor is e to the power h y dy. Put h y as minus 1 by y, you get 1 by y. Multiply the differential equation all over by 1 by y. The new m becomes log y minus 2x and new n is now x upon y plus 1. If we now find the partial derivatives, del m by del y and del n by del x, they both come out to be 1 by y. Let's now move on to finding the solution as the differential equation has now become exact. Start with del f by del x is equal to m. m is log y minus 2x. Integrate both the sides to find f. f comes out to be x log y minus x square plus a function of y. Now differentiate f with respect to y, equate it to n. This gives us phi dash y is 1. Integrate, that will give us phi y is equal to y. Put it in 10, that gives me the solution as f of x y is equal to x log y minus x square plus y e to the power y plus y is equal to c. In the sixth example, we are given 
the differential equation x cube plus x y cube dx plus 3y squared dy is equal to 0. m here is x cube plus x y cube n is 3y square. Find the partial derivative del m by del y. It comes out to be 3xy square. Del n by del x is 0. No x terms here. As they both are not equal, the differential equation is not exact. Let's find the difference of del m by del y, del n by del x. That is nothing but 3xy square. Now you see here, I do have a single term. So we will, and that is n. So I will divide this difference by n. This gives me a value x, which is nothing but a function of x. So integrating factors mu x is e to the power gx dx, integral gx dx. That gives me e to the power integral x dx, which is nothing but e to the power x square by 2. Multiply the whole differential equation 11 by e to the power x square by 2. Now, from this new differential equation, m is e to the power x square by 2, x cube plus x, y cube, and n is nothing but 3, e to the power x square by 2, y square. Del m by del y and del n by del x are now both equal, and they come out to be 3, e to the power x square by 2, x, y square. So, the differential equation has now become exact. We will find f. Use del f by del x equal to m. m was e to the power x square by 2 x cube plus x y cube. Integrate both the sides with respect to x. Our f comes out to be 2 e to the power x square by 2 x square by 2 minus 1 plus e to the power x square by 2 y cube plus 5 y. Use del f by del y is equal to n. For that, we differentiate f from 12 with respect to y and we see that 3 e to the power x square by 2 y square cancels on both the sides which gives me phi dash y is 0. Integrate phi y becomes c. Solution becomes from 12 f is equal to 2 e to the power x square by 2 x square upon 2 minus 1 plus e to the power x square by 2 y cube is equal to c. So far, in all our examples, we have used case 1 and case 2, where we have divided the difference of del m by del y minus del n by del x, that difference, by either minus m or n. In the seventh example, we will see, we will use the third case. So, here the differential equation is x to the power 4 y square plus y dx plus x dy is equal to 0. m is x to the power 4 y square plus y and n is nothing but x. Del m by del y comes out to be 2x to the power 4 y plus 1 and del n by del x is 1 because we are differentiating with respect to x. Obviously, they are not equal. Differential equation is not exact. We'll move on to finding the difference of del m by del y and del n by del x. The difference comes out to be 2x to the power 4y. Now, neither dividing by m minus m or n helps. So, first two cases do not work here. We will try what happens when we divide the difference by n y minus m x, the third case. You will see this turns out to be minus 2 by x y. Let us write x y as z. So this is minus 2 by z. We get a function of z. So integrating factor will be mu z is equal to e to the power integral g z dz. Now integrate this and we will get z to the power minus 2. z as xy, we get the integrating factor as 1 upon x square y square. Multiply the whole differential equation by 1 upon x square y square. The new m is now x square plus 1 by x square y and the new n is 1 upon x y square. 
del m by del y and del n by del x now become minus 1 upon x square y square. They both are equal. Differential equation has now become exact. We move on to finding the solution. Start with del m by del x is equal to m. m was x square plus 1 by x square y. Integrate both the sides to find f. We are integrating with respect to x. This gives me f is equal to x cubed by 3 minus 1 upon xy plus a function of y. Differentiate 14 with respect to y and equate it to n. So we get del f by del y is equal to n and the terms 1 upon x, y square on both the sides will cancel. 5 dash y is equal to 0. Integrate 5y will be c. Substitute 5y in your equation 14. Solution becomes f of xy is equal to x cubed by 3 minus 1 upon xy is equal to c. Thank you for watching. For other courses, you can check my website.